Transitions can make or break your video. The right ones, they don't just grab attention. They keep your audience hooked till the very end. What types of transitions are out there in Mobile Video Editor? And how do you pick the perfect one for your style? Hey, Arthur here. Welcome to Mobile Vlog. And in today's video, we're diving into eight must-known transitions that every creator needs to master in 2024, 2025, maybe. Let's make your edits pop. And the best part, you don't need a super complicated editor to get pro-level results. Programming like Mobile Video Editor are simple, intuitive, and perfect for social media content. To use transitions, just drag and drop your chosen one onto the timeline between clips. Easy, right? Now, let's dive into three classic transitions you will find in the popular section, Fade to Black, Crossfade, and Fade to White. These are timeless staples that can elevate your videos while keeping them clean and professional. Okay, Fade to Black. This transition gradually dims your footage into black screen, or brings it back from black. It's perfect for creating anticipation or marking the start or end of your story. It's simple, but incredibly effective at grabbing attention. Crossfade, here's where one shot smoothly dissolves into the next. It's all about layering two frames. One fades out as the next fades in. This is the go-to for showing a change in location or passing time while keeping the flow seamless. Fade to white. Unlike fade into black, this one transitions your clip into widescreen. It's softer, lighter, and great for wrapping up your video with closing credits or a clean outro. It gives a polished, professional touch. Try using Fade to Black for intros and outros, Cross Fade for mid-story transitions, and Fade to White for an elegant ending. These little tweaks can make a huge difference in how your audience experiences your video. If classic transitions feel too basic, let me introduce you to something a bit more advanced, VFX transitions. These are pre-made transition presets loaded with special effects that you can use to spice up your videos. Some of them are already available in the standard version of Mobile Video Editor, while others can be found in the Mobile Effects Store, which has a huge library to explore. You've got options like blur forward, blur backwards, slice, and motion for smooth shifts between scenes. These look super sleek and professional. Want more action and energy? Try effects like parallax, speed, quick zoom in, and quick zoom out. Plus, you can customize the duration of these transitions to see how they look in both slow and fast modes. A little pro tip here, playing with the timing and settings can totally transform the vibe of the same preset, so experiment in this key. Now, sound effects transitions come in all shapes and styles, some add effects directly onto your clips, while others use full screen animations to cover the entire frame, like the ones in the overlay effects category. Get creative, mix and match these tools, and before you know it, you will have crafted custom transitions that are uniquely yours, so no cookie cutter edits here. And if you're into high-end VFX transitions and want access to a ton of them in one go, Mobile software and effects store subscriptions are currently on sale at some killer discounts. Don't miss out. Let me introduce you to Movavi Unlimited, the ultimate bundle, programs, and effects. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned creator, this pack makes it ridiculously easy to produce amazing videos and photos. The interface is super intuitive, so no steep learning curve, and it works smoothly even on mid-range PCs. Here's what you get. Access to 6,000 plus effects. Yep, that's no typo. AI-powered tools for creating vibrant videos and enhancing photos in seconds. Thank color corrections, background replacement, and object removals all automated. A seamless screen recorder for saving online calls, webinars, tutorials, and more. Blazing fast video, audio, and photo conversions. One-click creative effects to make your videos pop. And right now, there is an 80% discount on the annual subscription. Seriously, it's like getting a pro toolkit at the price of a single program. This is your chance to dive in and start making next-level content today. Want to test the waters before committing? No problem. You can try Mobile Video Editor for free, no time limits, no stress. Head over to the site, link in the description, and start experimenting. While you're saving the link from the description to your favorites, let's dive back into the world of transitions. Up next, we are returning to some essential techniques in video editing. The third transition on my list, the good old hard cut. Now here's the thing, hard cuts are everywhere. Even the biggest creators on YouTube rely on them most of the time. But the trick, they don't just slap two clips together randomly 
family. Every hard cut needs to have a purpose. It should feel seamless like it was meant to be there. Overloading your video with flashy transitions can confuse your audience, but a well-paced hard cut can make your video feel cinematic. Let's talk about the action cut. This one's all about timing your transition to the action happening on the screen. Imagine a fight scene, cutting right as a punch lands, or a walk-in scene, transition during a step, or in a dance sequence, switching clips mid-spin. You get the idea. What sets this apart from a basic hard cut is that it gives the illusion of uninterrupted action. When you cut during a pause, the energy drops, but by cutting during the action, you keep the momentum alive, pulling your viewers deeper into the scene. It's dynamic, energetic, and it keeps the flow intact. And now let's talk about jump cuts. These are a YouTube staple. They perfect for trimming out those awkward pauses, slip ups, or moments where nothing exciting is happening. The camera stays in the same position, but you're cutting to a different point in time with the same clip. It's sharp, punchy, and instantly recognizable in vlogs and commentary videos. But if you're overdid, your video will feel jarring, even chaotic. They are amazing for showing quick progressions, like someone brainstorming, preparing for a big event, or reflecting on their thoughts. You've definitely seen this in movies, a character deep in thought, time skipping forward without losing their focus. Jump cuts can also create a sense of urgency and or humor if done right. The key, balance. Use them sparingly and with intention to keep your video polished and engaging. Next up, J-cut. So what is a J-cut? Basically, it's when the audio of the next scene starts before the visual. Think of it as a way to pull your audience into the next moment before they even see what's happening. Imagine this, you're editing your travel vlog about France. You've got a gorgeous shot of the Eiffel Tower and your next scene is the stunning coastline of Nice. So instead of just cutting from one to the other, you add a J cut. While the Eiffel Tower is still on screen, the sound of waves crashing and seagulls squawking slowly fades in. Before you know it, the viewer's already mentally on the beach while still looking at Paris. It's smooth, it's immersive, and it adds a touch of of anticipation. People are left wondering, what's next? This technique is especially useful when you are jumping between locations, time periods, or even contrast and vibes. It keeps the flow intact and makes transitions feel effortless. Now let's flip the script. L cuts are the opposite. This time the visuals of the next scene come in while the audio from the previous scene keeps playing. Picture this, you are editing an interview. Your host asks a thoughtful question, but instead of immediately showing the interviewee respond, you cut to them just as they start reacting. Maybe there is a slight smile, a thoughtful pause, or even a raised eyebrow. The audio of the question still lingers as we see their face processing it. This draws your audience into the emotion of the moment. They are not just hearing the words, they are seeing the human connection. Let's talk about cutaways. There are those extra shots that are filmed and or sourced separately from the main footage and are used to illustrate what's being said or shown. Picture this. You You've got two people in a car scene chatting away. Instead of just sticking to their faces the entire time, you could throw in shots of the scenery outside the car window or even their hands gripping the steering wheel. And boom, instant depth. The audience gets a better feel of the location and vibe without you saying a word. Cutaways are also amazing for setting the mood. Let's say you are trying to build tension or a scene of danger. Close-ups of nervous glances, shadows creeping across the floor. Those little details can be do wonders. Here's the trick to nailing your cutaways. When you're filming, grab a variety of extra shots, even if they feel random at the time. The more options you have in post, the easier it will be to pick something that fits the tone of your scene. Just make sure these shots add to the story and don't distract from your main point. And we've covered all the key transition types and how they can level up your video edits. Each of these techniques is super easy to experiment with in Mobile Video Editor, so click the link in the description, download it for free, and start your first project today. Get that polished pro level edit in no time. Thanks for watching till the end. You're awesome and see you next time.